Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And as you can see here, we have this chunky journal that I well, kind of finished. I have like a few pages left, but I won't be updating them anymore. I definitely want to walk you through the process of documenting my life on this A6, in this A6 journal. So I will share also some tips and what I've learned throughout documenting through this format so make sure to keep watching to know more so what we have here is a cover from baum quinn studio in la this is the mojave cover i'm afraid they don't have it anymore i did buy this like in 2021 i think and i received it in 2022 so this notebook inside is the md a6 journal it's blank I've kept a lot of these journals in the past. I think in 2021, I did have one of this, one in this size and one in B6. So I'll definitely link that down below if you want to check it out. And before we continue, make sure to check out my Patreon if you want to support me and my creative journey, as well as uh, take a look at more journal tours and just general ideas and inspiration. I will not go through all the pages, some are a bit personal, but I will share some key pages that you might probably see here. I finished this from January to July. At first, I wanted to do two books for this year, but this is actually not my main journal. It's like a catch-all journal. So I was like, okay, I'll probably just fill it up as I go along. So I thought this year my, my words would be slow and steady, but actually it turned out not to be, so... That's why the slow and steady one is there. I spent two months in Manila to celebrate my birthday and also for the holidays. So I did cut up all of the journals that I was using. This is probably one of my favorite pages from the entire journal. Also tried out some inks. And um, I did also write about my birthday. So my birthday is um, on the 14th. I think one of the main purposes of the this journal was like a mail log or some gifts from friends and like notes because I usually just file them in an envelope and then I thought you know if it fits a journal then it kind of makes sense to just put them there and also I did incorporate them and add colors based on whatever this the theme was so I see here it's like blue um, I also got some ink, so I swatched them in. I also tried to incorporate a lot of quotes that I did encounter. I like reading newsletters a lot, and that kind of helped me um, recenter myself and figure out what I should be, you know, channeling my energy into and what I consume. This is a spread that I feel like never saw the light of day, but on February. Um, it was my one year anniversary in moving to Berlin. I don't talk about moving that much because it's a very sensitive topic for me. But I thought of just like telling myself like, yeah, I'm hella proud of like doing this thing, like dropping everything, having to move and building a life in an entirely new and foreign city. I don't even understand 100% German. So this is like a very, um, yeah, I had to like put this page in. Also to celebrate my one year, I actually had a very intense, um, I actually chopped off a lot of my hair. But since I got sick, I didn't have photos of me with short hair, but this is me in short hair. So as you can see, I think one of the things that really made this a very loose um, format for me journaling wise was because I just experimented on a lot of different ways to document with stickers, with existing packages and things that I just wanted to stick in and in some way it just helped me remember certain events in that month so for example in March it was the Travelers Factory Travelers Company Caravan in Leipzig so I went to Leipzig and this is like a re little recap of my time there um, I bought tulips for myself thought to save the packaging I also have been like yeah, March was a very busy month. I started to look for apartments. It was very difficult. As I'm recording this, I will move an apart to an apartment soon, and I'm very excited about it. But 
I also had a habit of like putting my currently ink because MD paper cream is the paper I mostly use anyway so it made sense to have uh, my currently inked on here. Sometime in March also I was so fixated on Daisy Jones and the Six so I read Daisy Jones and the Six last October and so in March they did release their uh, the limited series on Amazon Prime so I made a whole spread out of it and I really I actually should rewatch it I really enjoyed it so this is a dedicated spread for that so this is also my way of like documenting I, do I watched this show called shrinking it's great I love it so this is a page about that and then at the time I was trying to figure out a new workaround with my music preferences so I moved to listening to Phoebe Bridgers and um, Maggie Rogers so this is a very blue spread um, I initially had a media journal but now I'm trying to rethink of just like moving everything to a commonplace book because as you can see like having this is like a mishmash of everything that I am generally fascinated with in my life so I thought that it would make sense to just have a similar notebook so while recording this and like talking to you about it I also am figuring out what I actually want out of my documenting journey for next year so um, towards the start of April, I also developed this new habit called Nice Things. Eventually, it's gonna change. It's basically a gratitude list. So every Sunday, I don't really like Sundays for personal reasons, and I wrote nice things that happened from the week every Sunday. So it became like a ritual for me. Um, for example, one of the nice things I had was a hot bath because I just ran a bath and I'm like, this is great. Basically, it helped me appreciate my life more because I was in a very dark place and just things were just not working out at this point. I was very dead set on like giving up entirely. So just having this moment to kind of capture these nice things helped me look at life a bit brighter and writing them down and realizing not it's not all bad so that's what i started to develop during this time um uh, more reading i was in the full reading era when my when my mom and sister visited in april actually i didn't finish this one it was too close to home aka too relatable but i finished the new me and i want to die but i want to eat tteokbokki I don't know, I'm like, I'm not so keen about them. They were okay for me, just not my favorite books. Um, I also watched Beef, which was so good. I really enjoyed Beef. Um, this was super, just wanted to say this was super fun because my friend Keisha invited me for brunch and we had a really nice brunch. And she's like, we're gonna go to this pot because they have unlimited coffee. True enough, we had five cups of um, filter coffee, which kept us very awake that Saturday. These were some of the printables I created for spring in on Patreon. I really enjoyed printing with them, obviously, and using them for my journals as well. And then, yeah, continuing on, this is more of the nice things uh, spreads that I did. See, it's still Sunday. And one of the nice things I will tell you is when I was like, I ordered some boxes for moving and my neighbor actually helped me bring the stuff up because they were so heavy. It was super nice of him. This is Ask Polly's from a newsletter that I subscribe to. And I love it. It says, the real challenge... She says, the real challenge of being alive is to savor the moment and give your love freely in spite of the clown show unfolding around you. Isn't that very apt? This was, you know, towards the end of April, one of my good friends, Amber, she visited and we had a really nice time and spring was starting to like take full shape at this point. So I did um, write a lot as well. Let's see what great, what things I'm grateful for. Long overdue call with Job. Um, also, the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes trailer, five stars. It, by the way, did you guys know it was filmed in Berlin? It was super cool. Um, yeah, it was a very um, eventful last week of April. And then first week of May, 
<laughs> I did rewatch the Hunger Games and I think this is my personal favorite spread because this is one of my favorite inks. It's called uh, Shinkaichi Gold. It's from Kobe. It's number 22. And I feel like it's my dupe of Pilot Iroshizuku Inaho just because I'm trying to save my Inaho ink since it's discontinued. Um, also, if you've noticed these um, cal tear away calendar sheets, they're from uh, the post office here in Berlin and they only cost three euros for the whole year. So that's why I use it a lot. And I love the font, it's Futura. It's what Wes Anderson uses, and I personally love Futura. So. Some nice things. I booked my Madrid trip. I was so excited for that trip. So I feel like, you know, now that we're talking about it, I do feel like this was also like a little log of what I've consumed because I did write about them. So I read this book called Lessons in Chemistry. It's gonna be a series on Apple TV in November. I don't know how to feel about the book. I liked it, but I feel like it could be better. Just not my cup of tea, but I did enjoy reading it. Um, After this... This was probably like mid-May. I got injured. I fell off a construction site. That sounds very intense, but it actually really was. And um, because of that, I wasn't able to pack most of my things for moving out. And I wasn't able to pack Happy Mail. So special shout out to Yana and Benedita for helping me pack. Because I was very helpless at this point. And this was a very important exercise for me to ask for help. Because I am very independent person but this was like I was on my breaking point because when you're physically unable to do things it's really hard I couldn't draw for weeks I couldn't work on my computer I had to make sure that my cast was well put on my you know it's not moving or like it doesn't hurt my shoulder so it was a very um intense period um, also, this was like the tail end of May, so I still did my gratitude list, and my handwriting just gets smaller and smaller. It's, it's pretty insane. I feel like it's just a personality trait now, like, yeah, I have a tiny handwriting. Uh, first week of June gratitude list, Ted Lasso, season finale. Oh my gosh, I sobbed like a baby. More gratitude lists. Right, I did have COVID. I forgot about this. So after my trip to Madrid, your girl got COVID. A few days after I recovered, I immediately went to the cinema to watch Asteroid City. I don't know if I liked it. I have like, I'm okay with it. Not my favorite, but it was nice. You know, these things, they don't sound like much, but I feel like they're so enriching to my own life. I tend to switch around the different terms for it. It's like, Pockets of nice things, nice things that happen, gratitude list, Sunday's best. I have no idea what I'm going through, but it's basically the same list, right? So that's that's what it is. Um, quickly, I wanted to share you with you also, one of the highlights of my year was watching The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel season five. I want to say big, big moment for me. This, this scene, no spoilers, this scene with Lenny Bruce and Midge, Maisel, um, they shot it in this restaurant called Wohop. So when I went to New York, I, I reluctantly asked my friends, I asked Brian and these, could you guys have lunch with me at Wohop? So we did go to this place. It was like fangirl moment. But yeah, I wanted to write about it because there was one quote in that show that really um, gave me a lot of like goosebumps. I'm gonna find it. I wrote it in my diarist let's see here so it was from her um stand up she said i want a big life i want to experience everything i want to break every single rule there is they say ambition is an unattractive trait in a woman maybe but you know what's really unattractive waiting around for something to happen Staring out a window, thinking the life you should be living is out there somewhere, but not being willing to open the door and go get it. Even if someone tells you you can't. That's like, that's basically my entire career summed up in one phrase. This was like when I developed my film roles from Italy. And I have yet to do a video about my film camera experience using the Kodak Ektar, which I'll do a video about soon. And 
and this was the very fun beach day so this was a very hot day in berlin it was 37 degrees and i really like this spread because it's just so summery so i needed to commemorate this tag because i don't have swimwear because i can't swim so i was thrown into a, to, into a pool when i was four and ever since that, I didn't really recover from my trauma. So do not bring me into any body of water unless I ask you to. So this was a very like, I like my friend Keisha was like, you have to bring swimmer. We're going to swim. Like, okay. So I felt like it was a very pivotal moment to be able to go and swim and wear swimwear. It was a very fun day, albeit very hot. Um, so I had to write it here. <laughs> well... You know, just ink splatters here and there. I did uh, pockets of good things so far in July. This was before I left for New York. Was this a good thing? Watching White Lotus, even if she's, it's so chaotic. I realize I haven't even finished the finale. I have to do that at some point. This is the last one I did for my pockets of good things. July 23. Listening to Fall Out Boy, and I missed it so much. It was a random thought. And I had a nice evening listening. I do remember this. It's just like a little moment of like, oh, wow, I love their music. I forgot about it. So, yeah, I didn't finish it anymore. I didn't know if I want to continue. But that is my chunky and chatty journal flip through for you. I do hope you enjoyed looking through it. What have I learned? I learned I like to talk a lot and I like to write a lot. So... Next year, I will probably uh, create a commonplace book. I've been discussing the idea of commonplace books with my journal friends as well. Um, so I will definitely keep you posted on that. But for now, I am letting you know again that I am on Patreon. If, if you want to see some journal tours and pages of these journals and other journals that I've been using and documenting with, make sure to check out patreon.com slash abc. I also have a series on YouTube, a playlist on YouTube called Completed Journals and Reviews. So if you want to check that out and figure out what journal suits best for your preferences, lifestyle, and documenting style, make sure to check that out. And I will see you guys on the next video. Always be creating. Bye!